can do is that let's let this all of this control shift select all of that and deselect these parts over here the nails and stuff because gloves don't have nails on them Yeah, that should do it. Now you can uh, let's shift right click and duplicate that face and set the offset a bit more. So let's try 0 0.1. Maybe it's too small. 0 0.5. Still a bit too small. Anything maybe let's try look transient. Oh, damn. No, that's not the correct thing. You could try manually, yeah. So, manually doing it with these uh, manipulator handles, the blue one, like you can give it that bit of a Feel that it has a bit of offset, and that's exactly how much we need. So for the glove, uh, since we like did it from the base, it's gonna create two separate polygons: one's the actual base, and one's the duplicated glove. So just delete history on that, drag that back in, we don't need this. It's an actual group that it kind of just generates. Have to rename them once more and pull this out a bit from this group over here. It's a group that's actually a UV unwrapped and finished. So I'm going to go back to the uh, Placing all of this back in once I've UV unwrapped them. And I'll still uh, tweaking all of these. So. And rename this as Glove. Now for those uh, ends. Can Scale that right out to the edge. Scale that in. And one more time. And close that. So here's the tricky part. We've got like how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of this coming in. So, what we need is like divisions. Uh, and one should suffice. Gonna use slide edge to slide it upward a bit. Please bridge that. Please press the G key and select this. Shift right click and fill hole on that. Shift right click, fill hole. We need to add a few more uh, edges over here just to even things out a bit. Okay. Now coming back into our uh, sculpting tool to get that shape properly. So but it looks like a glove finger. Get 
give it a lot more detail later on but for now uh just to see what purposes you know because you know gloves have a lot of creases on them so we're gonna have to make those uh manually to give it more of a glove like feel right now we just uh need to fill in those fingers i'm gonna repeat the same process uh, for every single finger we've got like thumb and three more of these so just for the sake of this video i'm gonna do one more and uh, i'm gonna stop the video here i think this might just like take me 20 minutes to complete this and for uh, the next one we'll do the scarf but for this one just to show you what i did one more time like extrude this out by pressing ctrl e extrude it inward again pull that out a bit and one more extrude press r on the keyboard and bring that in to uh, adjust this a bit Okay, again, I'm gonna ship right click bridge that, create one division on that bridge, slide edge, move the edge upward, bridge this, and this, and fill hole on the rest of that. Then we uh, add those edges in. One, two, three, yeah, should do it. Again, going into sculpting and pressing shift to get that, you know, shape in there again. In the bottom. So yeah, we've got two fingers done already and uh, if you look at it in perspective mode, you'd see like this has hard edge going up and the rest of the glove doesn't, it's a really easy fix, you just go into mesh display and click soft and edges, kind of take care of that for you. And what this is, like we used fill hole on that, so I mean this can easily be fixed when you assign a material to it. Right now it's like using the same material I have for her base and the fill hole is using Lambert 1, which comes in with the Maya comes in by default as Lambert 1. So for some reason fill hole always does that. I don't know why. that a bit. It's popping out. Right, so uh, just need to repeat the process on her two other fingers and her thumb and uh, we will have a glove. But to uh, just do this like super quick I'm going to assign a material to her uh, AI standard surface. Call this glove mat. Make the color a bit darker so you know that she's wearing the glove. and yeah i think i'm gonna be stopping the video over here and in the next one we're gonna be doing the scarf so uh for this one like all you need to do is just extrude these out and fill in those uh, holes for the fingers and thumb so i'm gonna see you in the next video